when an aircraft uh, is flying along, the the control surfaces are, are generating lift. Uh, so let's say lift in that direction. And lift is equal to a half coefficient of lift rho s v squared. When we get to high speeds, you know, you know, this is a square value. So at high speeds, you know, this lift can be can be much greater. So, you know, if you're adjusting the flight control, you know, at high speeds, you know, um, a change in angle of attack of one degree at a high speed will have a much bigger impact than a change of one degree at a low speed. So, um, the pilot needs to be able to feel, you know, these loads on on the on the control stick, and with a hydraulic system, um, normally you know there there would be no feedback. It's it's all done through the pressure of the fluid. However, we can overcome on that by using a Q feel. So, if I look at this equation here again, and I've highlighted a half rho v squared, well half rho v squared is um, dynamic pressure. Okay, and that is uh, given the term Q. So Q is half rho V squared. So that's where this term Q field comes from. So if the at high speeds, if the dynamic pressure is high, you know, we, we want the pilots to be able to feel that force, artificially feel that force, if you like. So pressure is made up of static pressure and uh, dynamic pressure. And if we, you know, feed the static port into some sort of a, a chamber and the the dynamic from the the pito going in here you know if the faster we go the greater the dynamic pressure so it might act on this piston here and that just might cause more friction on uh, on the flight control uh, just to give the pilot that sense that there's more more uh, more force being applied um, now it may not well be like that you know probably probably is not uh, you know this this might affect just the way the pressure of the fluid going into the to the actuators is but the the principle is um, when we increase the dynamic pressure there is some mechanism here to feed that back to the pilot so he gets to feel the, those forces